This is code.org, and let's see what we're doing. Find the documentation for the math class in the Doc and Tips tab. And, ooh, before this, it actually looks like use the documentation to complete the math class activity guide. So we can just click here if you don't have a physical copy of it, and that will link to it. You want to go ahead and then make your own copy to fill this in. All right, that being said, documentation, well, I see documentation tab. Um, so I'll go with that. And then what are we doing? Oh yeah, we're going to use it to complete, use the documentation to complete the activity guide. So mine is actually set to default or set to the main method, I guess. But students, if you click on this, this drop down menu, they should have, where is it? Hopefully they do. Java math. Aha, Java language math. And that's what we're going to need. Now for the activity guide, I already have created a copy for myself here. All right, so let's see what we got. What types of methods does the math class contain? So let's see. The class provides methods to perform various math calculations. These methods include calculating the uh, uh, square root, absolute value, hypotenuse, and many other operations. So what type is, I'm guessing what they're asking for is that this is type. So let's see, we have a static double methods. Oh, types meaning more general. Okay, so I bet we're looking for more of a description than actual uh, the idea of a type. So provides methods to perform various math calculations. Sounds good to me. So I would just make sure to use your resources. And of course, you should be answering in complete sentences. I won't. I'm just going to take some notes. Uh, provides methods. So I'll just say that. And there we are. And again, complete sentences, students, but I'm just taking a few notes here. All right. All methods in the math class are, ooh, ooh, I actually know this one. So the methods here, they're all going to need to be static. Method details, static. Absolute, let's see. Ab, static. Square root, static. And the reason they're static is you don't want to have to instantiate to make use of this. If you're calculating the square root or putting something to a particular power, things of this nature, you don't want to instantiate the class. You just want to be able to use it. So what are they? They are static. Okay. What are the two static double variables contained within the cl math class? So I'm actually going to do control F and just search for the word double. Okay. So here's one. Uh, which is pi. Let's see what else we're, they're going to be talking about. Well, these all seem like methods. Okay, well, let me at least get pi down. The, the double representing pi. And again, I'm just going to take notes. You want to make sure you're answering complete sentences. So I'm actually not seeing where they would say uh, another field. So I'm gonna magic my way over to Google and I've already actually typed this in math class Java and here we are. All right, so let's see if there's a bit more information. Ah, static double. So there's also E, the value that is closer to, is closer than any other to E, the base neutral of algorithms. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy that. I wonder why that was missing. So I'm not sure if they're going to modify this in the future, but there is also E. Find documentation for random. Alrighty. Let's, I'm going to do a control F and just look for random. Returns the value that is greater than or equal to zero and less than 1.0. What does it do? So I just worded this. It returns a value between zero and less than, less than. Less than 1.0, zero inclusive, meaning it can return zero. Find the documentation for math absolute, double A, and math absolute int A. What do they do? How do they differ? So here we are with those. Double A, interesting. And int A, returns absolute value of an integer value, returns the absolute value, absolute positive value of A. So the uh, they differ. What do they do? We could obviously we can move this over, right? I'm just going to Control C, Control V. You want to do some 
you would want to put this into your own words to show understanding, but I'm just doing quick notes to give you ideas of what the expectation. Returns the absolute value of an int. Uh, returns the absolute value, so I would do something like this, of course. Bam, 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 and... And so the difference here being is that a double, guys, keep in mind, is a decimal value. So I would make somehow make note of something about that. Double being a decimal. Alrighty, find the documentation for square root. What does it do? We also need to do power and then one other method that we want. 